Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chris coming at you from my channel, I Am Toys, uh, coming at you with another review. Uh, this is a 3-0 Walking Dead set um, of Michonne and the two, uh, two Walker Twin Pack. Obviously, uh, these, these don't come together, you have to buy them separate. Uh, but before I get into the review of this figure, I want to take a moment. Um, those of you, if you saw from the beginning of the video, this video is obviously uh, dedicated to uh, a gentleman named Grant. If he, you may or may not know him. Um, if you're in the Facebook groups and you're watching this video, or if you're friends with me, uh, you probably have talked to him a few times. Guy was a good dude. Uh, we uh, unfortunately lost him um, shortly, I think I believe it was over the weekend. Uh, it appears that he may, you know, unfortunately have uh, taken his own life, uh, you know, leaving behind a family and so on. And um, I, I don't think Grant was a big Walking Dead fan, but... I wanted to kind of dedicate this video to him a little bit because he used to, who knows, maybe he was a closet Walking Dead fan, but he, me and him used to direct message back and forth on Facebook and he would bust my chops a lot <laughs> about this show. Uh, he was also a political junkie just like me, so we would always uh, have, have fun discussions, man, about current events and Trump and all kinds of, all kinds of crazy shit, but he, he was a good dude, man. It was fun and he was a fellow collector and um, I, I think most of us who travel in these group and, and eat, sleep, and breathe this hobby? I, I think we all kind of feel, we all kind of feel it to a certain degree, and um, it's it's a shame. Uh, you know, it kind of is what it is. But uh, you know, this video is dedicated to him, and um, I just wanted to put that out there because I've been kind of quiet uh, since, um, at least re with regards to his death, over the last few days, um, I was debating whether or not what I was going to say in this video, and um, I still didn't really decide, I just kind of winged it just now. So that's kind of where I want to leave it, and um, all I can say is if you know someone who is expressing something, whether it's on Facebook, man, just take it seriously, call them up, go see them. You know, I work in the field of psychiatry, and, and, and all of us, a lot of the times, we still make mistakes in thinking, ah, this person says this all the time, he's not going to do it. So... Um, just reach out to that person, call the police if you have to, just do what you got to do. So, uh, you know, Grant, this video is for you and for uh, busting my balls all the time. So <laughs> I felt uh, this was a good opportunity, you know, to kind of voice some, voice, uh, some kind words um, over this fella. And, um, you know, just uh, offer uh, my thanks if you're listening, man. You know, if, uh, it was an, enjoy, an enjoyment to be your friend, you know, for, the, for that period of time. So anyway, let's get uh, into the video. This is uh, obviously already what I, what I mentioned already in the beginning. This is a 3-0 uh, Michonne from The Walking Dead and the Twin Pack Walker set. You know, these come uh, separate. You got to buy them. They don't come together. Um, I think the Walker Pack was about 250 or 240 or something like that, and Michonne was about a buck 65, I believe, or a buck 50. I, I can't even remember now. Uh, that's how fast I forget shit uh, and nowadays. But uh, really happy with the set. I think it's terrific. I think they knocked her likeness out of the park. Uh, so let's uh, get through it. We'll go through the accessories, the figure, show you the walkers at the end, and then we'll close out with that as well. And I'll give you my final comments and concerns. And as usual, hit that 4K option on your uh, video uh, browser, whether it's YouTube or whatever you're using, uh, so you get this in full resolution. So I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, so as I usually do, top half torso first. That sculpt is amazing. 3-0 put out an excellent effort in nailing Denai's likeness on this and her character Michonne. It, it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So as she does turn around now, I'm going to show you something that I did. I mean, you can choose to do it differently, you know, um, uh, however you want to do it, but some people are probably going to see this and be like, oh, come on, man, how come you don't have it up through the back? You know, you have the shirt tucking over the sword or, or hanging over the sword. Hey, I'm a little bit lazy. It's easier for me to do it this way than have it going straight up underneath and um, through the back up against the hair and the paint and you know just you try to you try to minimize the amount of stress you put on a figure um, depending on how you're posing or what you're trying to accomplish and when you see her rotate around like this you can't really tell and again you're not posing a figure from the back so who gives a shit um, you can adjust the strap you want so if you can if you want it up higher like this you can do that you know so on and so forth you're gonna be having her again you're gonna be having her pose from the front so it's not a big deal to me um, you can adjust that. I tried to have this going up through the back so it was sticking out through her hood, but that looks weird. Um, I don't think you should even have it that way anyway. The only reason I'm even bringing this up is because someone ha already mentioned it to me. So it's just, uh, I don't know, it's, it's preference. If you want to try and do it, go for it. I think it's going to look silly. And plus, um, these things have to be tightened. 
and it's going to look kind of weird. So I think it looks the best with the uh, the top piece as tight as possible. Um, another workaround for that too as well, just in case you're lazy so you don't have to actually think, oh my god, do I have to tie this in a knot and untie it every time? No. Yeah, I, I tie them across or I pull them across each other um, so it's tight and then I just wrap it right around underneath just like that under the back of the hood and you can't even see it. So that's an easy workaround for that. Alright, so that's, I guess, actually no, now there's one more thing I probably want to bring up. The hair... Uh, the actual hair that's on her is, is not real hair, obviously. It's also not a variation of such. Um, it is a plastic, at least it, that's what it, it appears to be. Uh, there, a little bit of the detail was lost from um, prototype to production on that. You know, you, I think in the, uh, on the prototype you could see the little caps that were on, on the end here. They were a little bit more um, accentuated. Uh, they're kind of still there. You can see a little bit of uh, of the stuff in there, but it's it, it, they're not there anymore. So that got lost a little. But you know, the most important thing, at least for me, you know, the head sculpt paint application from uh, pro to production really really came through, and, and it uh, it withstood. I mean, it's going to soften a little bit, which it did. I mean, uh, if we can all have a, pay, a master paint application, I, I'm sure we'd be all ecstatic and, and happy. But you know, overall, they, they did a great job. Um, 3-0 put a lot of work into this. It, it's a shame that some of the other figures it didn't turn out quite so well. Like, their, their Grimes it was okay, decent likeness, but Dom Toys, for sure, had the best on that one. But another figure, another discussion for another day. So let's get to the uh, bottom half, and I'll show you the weathering on her pants. Terrific job on that as well. I'll see you on the other side of that. All right, here's the bottom half of her body. Uh, variation of cargo pants, sculpted boots. I think the detail on the weathering on that is really good. You know, you get that dirty kind of sandy, sandy look on the pants and on the shoes. Um, you know, obviously the the dirt sand look on the on the shoes is painted on. Uh, I, I think it's pretty pretty good detail all the way through. You know, it's not really much bad I, I can say. Uh, but folks who want to customize can uh, further weather the pants and get them dirtier if you want to. It's all up to you. It's all in the eye of the beholder. It's your figure. You do what you want. Just don't jack it up. <laughs> That's my. Uh, it's usually my rule. But uh, the the pants are great. They, they they fit well. They form fit the body really well. We'll see how they how they hold up once we start articulating the legs, and uh, we'll see if it prevents any movement or not. Because with her, she is the kind of figure that you may want to get into some more dynamic acrobatic poses with, because she is you know quite versatile in the show, and. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can get away with, and, and uh, from messing around with it earlier, I think we'll, it, it, it'll be decent. I, I think we can get some pretty good leeway, um, but I'm also going to show you, before we get into articulation, I'm going to show you the top half of the body without the, uh, the cloak on, and um, I'll show you what I really don't like, so why probably keeping it on is probably the best look as far as my opinion is concerned anyway. So I'll get to that. All right, so here's where I have to definitely deduct some points um, because of the shoulders and, and, and the body type that they used. Um, it's not a traditional Fison body. I don't even know if it really is a Fison body. Uh, there's a difference between Fison bodies and, you know, the rubberized types that they use. I can't remember to save my life right now what it is. But um, the rubberized portion you can see doesn't even go up to the top of the shoulder really. So you see that separation on both sides, and it's really uh, an eyesore. <laughs> You know, but I and I, and I love three zero, and, and they put a lot of work into the tailoring, uh, the head sculpt, which they nailed. Uh, well, the body could have been a little bit better, but if they used a better body, I can 100% tell you that's going to drive the, the price of the figure up. Um, you know, it's not, it's, it's not the kind of it, it, it's not the kind of body that you would normally see like uh, Hot Toys use, like on one of their Fisons, or not one of their Fisons per se, but um, on one of their female figures. I mean to say, like with Wonder Woman, you know, and you, you get that awesome detail. The paint application looks really good. Um, but this, you can tell, you know, it's, it's a cheaper body. You know, um, it, it, it is. And, um, you know, the, the way the shine is on there, the paint application, you know, there, there's no veins, you know, coming through the arm. The detail is, is lackluster for the most part. But it doesn't bother me. Uh, in the end, because I plan on keeping the cloak on, I think that's the pretty much the, the pretty much the uh, the best look anyway. In my, in my opinion, I think she looks so kick ass with it on, and I'm probably going to stick to that. But some people, if you really want to go with this look, you can find some uh, 
some Fison bodies out there that, that are a little bit more top quality or higher quality and uh, use that. Just got to make sure that the tone matches her face and uh, you can have a, a killer presence in this look as well. Um, but I, I love 3-0 and, uh, you know, I think they probably, you know, part of, part of their production team probably knew as well that, hey, the body's going to be a, a little bit on the cheaper end, but, you know, most people are going to keep the cloak on anyway. I mean, the, 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 that's the money look, at least in my opinion. And, uh, you know, the, the you know, uh, 3-0 is one of those companies, too, where their, their figures are, you know, oftentimes, most of the times, below 200 bucks. You know, some are buck 50, buck 60, buck 75, and that's phenomenal. And, you know, they cut around some costs and are able to give you a cheaper figure sometimes, you know, when they sacrifice certain things. You know, you, you don't get a base with their figures. Um, you know, you also, you, you might get, you might lose some quality on the body that they use, like, like you see here. But it, it, it's awesome. I, I love that they give you hands with the pegs already in them. And when you pull the hands out, the alternate hands already have pegs in them as well, so you pop them right back in. You don't have to worry about popping them out and then worrying about the, the, the tip breaking off, which often happens a lot, which really pisses me off. But 3-0, again, the overall presence of the figure is really good, but I have to definitely deduct some points, you know, because of the shoulder and the type of body they use. So uh, that's being said, let's get to the articulation and move on. All right, so I'm going to step into this shot, and I'm going to do some articulation uh, real quick. So, all right, let's see what we can get away with with this figure. I haven't really done too much with her yet, so we'll see uh, what we can do. So... All right, so shoulders, I'm sure we can get pretty good on that. So, you know, this is pretty cool because on that lateral raise, I don't know what kind of pose you can get with this. Um, it depends. I mean, she's not really Spider-Man. But because we, uh, we did that, if you can see this, but the uh, shoulder joints are now concealed. But then again, what kind of pose you can really get away with, I don't know. But uh, be careful you don't go up too far because it's pressing. You don't want to damage the rubber, cheaper quality or not. You don't want to ruin your figure, right? So, head obviously goes all the way around. Now, the, the pivot, though, um, the head doesn't necessarily pivot on a joint. It's actually the neck piece um, that actually uh, has the articulation in it. So, to be able to go down like that and then to go up you're kind of restricted a little bit. You don't go back too far. I mean, this is more abduction right here in the back than it is the head moving. Uh, you know, that's about as far as you can get, but you can go all the way around 360. Um, see, there you go. But uh, like, yeah, you get, you get here, it's the better way to do it actually. Um, see that, that goes, you get a little bit to the right and left, but for the most part, it just goes forward. That's about it. So probably have to deduct a little bit of points from that as well because of that, but Overall, man, it's a really good figure, so I'm definitely happy with it. All right, so legs. Well, we'll do arms since we're here. Um, get a pretty good bend. Just be careful you don't keep it like that in the long, long periods of time, because just like anything, this will peel and crack. And uh, being a, again because of a lower quality, it, it can, it probably will damage even faster. Um, Leg-wise, this is always a nice treat to do to see how far we can go up. Uh, that's pretty good. So even though the pants are form fitting, this is one of my things. I, I can, you can always tell good tailoring when you get really good articulation like this, um, even despite the fact that the clothes form fit to the figure. Because often, oftentimes when it does form fit, you lose the articulation a little bit and you can't get the leg up as high for some reason or another. But this is actually really good. I'm, I'm glad you can do that and get a 90 degree bend like that. Pretty good. No issues. Um, obviously the same is going to be for the leg. Uh, you could probably go far, pretty, pretty decent as well. It's not bad. Probably go a little bit more, but I'm not going to push it. Uh, let's see, adduction and abduction got to about probably right there. Wouldn't go too much farther than that. And back, it's pretty good. Actually, seems a little bit better than the uh, than the front. So it's pretty good though so far. Um, you get a little bit of a twist. Actually, pretty good twist. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, gonna push my luck though, right? As they say. So, yeah, you can go all the way over there. You just gotta be careful because you're probably gonna pull this fabric, and you don't want to damage that either. So again, just use your head, use some common sense. So that's pretty good. Um, obviously, you get pretty good front rotation all the way up. You're gonna rub a little bit on the shoulder. Just be careful. Um, same with this shoulder. Uh, you can adjust this piece as much as you want for your poses, like I mentioned. 
Um, this is not metal, by the way, but we'll, uh, we'll go through that when I go through the accessories real quick. It doesn't come with too much, so that'll be really brief. All right, so that's the articulation for her for the most part. And we will get to the accessories real quick, and I'll show you the walkers. Uh, do a pan of that, and then we'll close the video out. All right, so here's all the accessories you get. You know, nothing too crazy. Uh, the sword, like I said, um, plastic, not metal. Would have been cool if uh, they gave you a metal sword, which would have been sweet. They actually did that with their Michael Myers that they put out, their Chris and Michael Myers. Their, the knives were actually uh, metal, so that was sweet. But it didn't get that treatment this time with this, unfortunately. Uh, this is plastic as well. Uh, not not sculpted leather or anything like that. Sculpted sculpted pla sculpted leather. Yeah, not leather, but uh, sculpted plastic. Uh, this though itself, I'm not sure that this could possibly. This is a, like a, le a leathery material, but I have a feeling it might be pleather. Um, I'm usually freaking not very good at telling the difference, man. Sometimes when I rub it, sometimes it's very blatant and obvious, and uh, this time for me it's not. But you know, whatever. Uh, these are the two hands that you get. Uh, sculpted again obviously I love it that they give you the pegs already inside that's awesome um, the it's a decent it's a de decent sculpt job decent paint application um, have we seen better yeah but uh, it does the job y you know you, you, you can you can do what you have to do with these and uh, the bag itself got a little bit of weathering on that as well um, you know gray hopefully that gray tones coming through sometimes my camera can pick up some weird tones just like everybody's um, but you got good weathering on the back too as well. Uh, this is obviously something you probably want to keep on her uh, without the uh, cloak on. Give you another look uh, with that. And you can use your imagination do what you want to do. And I just noticed that this is actually coming off from the glue. Or maybe not, I can't tell. No, it's not actually. Sorry I was segueing off there, but um, maybe it's a little bit of glue or something that got, um, I don't know actually really what it could be. But here, I'll show it to you one more time. Um, it's almost like they put it on there, that's coming through, and maybe they took it off and they got moved over? <laughs> I don't know. But technically this is stitched on through here, so I, I, I don't know, maybe something happened. But there's like a little wet spot, it looks like a wet spot right there. It's, it's hard too, it feels like glue or something so that uh probably not supposed to be there <laughs> but um oh well we got QC issues with every company that we get it's not like uh 30 um just because that they're giving you a, a a good figure at a decent price doesn't mean they're also um beyond a reproach when it comes to QC checks so that's about it is for accessories I'll give you guys a quick once around with the walkers next all right, folks, so that brings us to the close of the video. Uh, I'm going to close out with the walker set. I originally wasn't going to get these guys, like I mentioned in the video. Um, but when I rewatched the episode, I went back through the comics. I was like, I have to have these guys. Because they were such a pivotal part of her character. At least I felt they were in the comics. Um, the, the show, eh, I think the show probably conveyed that a little bit too as well. I thought the comics, they were a little bit more pivotal um, in explaining what they were used for. I mean, I could be wrong, uh, but at least that's how I, that's how I remember it anyway. But you know, these guys are supposed to be Mike and Terry. I think Mike was her boyfriend in the comics and Terry was, uh, his best friend from what I understand. And she essentially chopped off their mouths and cut off their arms so they would not be able to attack her. And, you know, obviously because that was one of the primary means of uh, spreading the virus from one person to another. So it's pretty smart on Michonne's part. And also she kept them around because uh, they warded off other zombies. I, I think, I don't know if it necessarily, or maybe, maybe that was what they did, but it, I, I guess it kind of threw off her scent. So they didn't know that it was actually a human being. Uh, because, you know, if you remember in the, in the previous series, uh, early in the series, they were rubbing uh, zombie guts all over themselves. And I think they did that a couple other times throughout the series as well to try and mask their, their human smell. And uh, it usually worked with a pretty good result. And these two, I guess, just having them with you, I mean, it's pretty ingenious. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know if they, I mean, I, I guess the, the sense of, uh, sense of smell for a zombie is not too keen. So I guess two would be enough, right? Um, but it, it, it was a good... Good friggin' thinking on her part, that's for sure. So, I, I, uh, 3-0 did a good job. The weathering, the paint application, the detail on it. Um, the chains aren't metal either. These are plastic, unfortunately, but 
you can honestly go out and buy some custom ones or uh, you know from some store and make these metal if you want to so do what you got to do and but the detail on these guys is great between uh, from the pants the shoes uh, the weathering is awesome all the way front to back paint applications pretty good on them you see the seams a little bit on the size of the arms but the, you know that's fine man um, I'll, I'll turn this guy around for you detail on the back is awesome backpack you see all the dirt and weathering come through awesome 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 man you can even take the backpacks off and um, use them for other figures if, if you want to um, do some interesting shit with those but yeah detail all the way around on these guys awesome 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 give you that view that way show you his backpack packs are different um, differences I guess between both I think the pants I think the pants are the same maybe not I mean they're supposed to be technically two different characters so I would imagine I hope they wouldn't use the same blue jeans and I think they are different looking at them these are a little bit more blue uh, than these are whether or not that was just something in production and maybe who knows the next set uh, maybe someone who has another so who has a set of these maybe the pants are exactly the same but for me and looking at to my eye um, these are different from those uh, the paint application on the bodies themselves are a little bit different uh, the one on my right uh, well technically it would be your right but for me it's my left speaking about this guy right here his paint application is a little bit darker um, the mouths, uh, the detail on them on how they're severed, both different. Uh, the lacerations on the bodies, the way the arms are cut are also different. So it wasn't like 3-0 decided to get lazy, and, and, and they really could have um, if they wanted to. They pretty much used uh, the same bodies if they wanted to, not even bother to change the paint app, and it still would have looked cool. But stuff like that, the, the companies try to do their best that they can. They still offer you uh, figures for a good price. And I think the set for these... Um, it's like 200, 250, 240 USD. I actually had a coupon for his company, and um, I was able to get it for like 205 or 210 or something, or, or um, I can't remember. It was like 15% off. Um, but it, it was nice to get a little bit of a discount on these, which also helped augment my decision to get these. So yeah, they're all definitely differences. The backpacks again are both different. Um, even the chains are actually a little bit different um, as far as the weathering on them. There are a little bit of little minute differences around the uh, around the neck collar portion, but awesome job by them overall so that's really about it guys um, if I had to rate the just the Michonne figure I'd have to give it a seven because of the body um, it's that's definitely definitely a down a down uh, definitely I have to reduce it because of that the head sculpt is a 10 in my opinion but because of that body the overall figure and what you get um, accessories and everything else which are a little limited but again you know it is what it is I, I, I have to give it a seven maybe a max of 7.5 uh, these guys, I have to give a 9.5. It, 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 it's awesome. The set's awesome. You, even if you want to use these guys with Rick Grimes, or if you have a custom or or whatever, you, you can do some pretty cool, pretty cool scenes or some poses and some shots with this. Which I'm I'm, I'm going to have some fun. Maybe, maybe I'll have these two guys chasing after my Donald Trump figure. <laughs> It'll be fun. Now, if you get all of these, if you get you pick up Michonne and you get the two uh, two piece Walker set, I have to give it a nine. I have to give it a solid nine. The whole set, everything together, definitely a solid nine. <laughs> So once again, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or you just want to troll me, uh, feel free to hit me up on YouTube. And even you trolls who like to give me shit, I usually like poking the bear because it's fun. You guys give me a hard time about things um, as if uh, my, U my YouTube channel is supposed to be yours. Um, but <laughs> I have a good time poking, poking these people back, man. I, I know you shouldn't when you do reviews. You should, you know, I'm always told you should ignore these guys, but I, I have a blast <laughs> to tell you the truth. It's almost fun. It's almost fun making them mad. I, 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 I get, I get enjoyment out of it. Cause I think, I think that trolls think that they are bothering you and you're somehow waiting in bated breath to comment back. Um, you can really care less. Uh, <laughs> Most of us can really care less, but I'm one of those people I like to poke back and have fun. So, uh, but 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 anyway, uh, you're probably better off. I, there's a lot of people who commented on my videos recently, and I haven't had a chance. If you're watching this video, I'm sorry, I don't I don't have a chance to respond back all the time. Uh, like I mentioned, I just finished my doctorate. I'm in the process of getting another job and all kinds of stuff. So I've just been busy. I just don't have time to go go through and, and and get back to every single person who who hits me up. So a lot of people find me on Facebook and they friend me that way, and it's a lot easier for me to to message and respond than trying to bounce through all these various social medias trying to answer questions. So honestly, between Facebook and um, between uh, uh, what the hell is it? Um, Instagram is probably your 
my best your best way of getting to contact me and ask me questions if you want to. So uh, you know, try try to do that. Um, if you don't know who I am, you can figure it out. Just go to the Facebook collector groups. If you don't know where they are, then uh, I'm not going to help you out with that. You got to figure it out, and you can pretty much track me down that way. I'm not just throw my information out there. Um, most people um, don't do that either. So uh, make sure you hit that 4K option again. Uh, if you didn't, I'm sorry if I forgot to mention it. <laughs> and uh, once again, you know, I'm dedicating this video to Grant. Um, it's really a shame to lose somebody, especially uh, um, you know, at the prospect of the fact that he may have taken his own life. It, it, it's really, it really hurts, man. It's a, it's a shame. And for the brief uh, period of time, I was only friends with the guy for maybe about, uh, I think we became friends maybe a year ago. On Facebook, he, he was a cool dude, man, and, and it, it was it was fun. And um, the world lost uh, the world lost a good guy, man. So it is what it is. Like I said, uh, you know, if you see those kind of things, man, report it. Call friggin' somebody. Just don't uh, just don't take it out as I. Ah, this guy's not gonna do it. He says this shit all the time because, you know, uh, a few hours later after uh, he he had made the comment to take his own life, um, he it, he was. Uh, pronounced dead so <laughs> it's hard to hear that and say it out loud it, 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 it's crazy especially when you know someone uh, but again I, you know this video is, de is dedicated to him and um, that's all I can pretty much I'm gonna leave it at that so just uh, be kind to your fellow man and uh, you know don't um, don't just brush off don't just brush off things so anyway that's it I'm closing out pieces deuces folks have a good day